Hello, I'm Pascal and I'll be your teacher for the Off The Dome course and I'll be joined by James. Hi, my name is James and I am the assistant teacher for the Off The Dome course. Pretty much anybody in the world has a mouse and they can, they can access this art form and I think giving them the tools as to how to do it in a really simple basic platform and then they can go off and explore in other ways as we have. Mm -hmm. For me, coming from Akaprov, that's where my understanding of freestyle rap is, but when you open the door you see how big a community it is. The best thing about doing freestyle rap is collectively entering the flow state. It's, it's such an experience to connect with other people um, whilst doing something that's challenging and has this intensity because of the pace and rhythm of it all, which takes it a step beyond spoken word in some regards. Um, and more importantly, it's actually when you do this in a show environment, because that extends into the audience, the energy from the audience feeds into it even more than usual, especially because they're collaborators rather than just spectators. That collaboration element is, is very much one of the, the two things that I'm going to discuss, which is also the hyping. I think mm -hmm. freestyle rap is one of the, the best examples of everyone cheering because you said the word elephant or daisy because you are given a word, you're given a stimulus, something to explore, and then when you hit that, when you hit that, that punchline, that spike, that word, it's such a collective cheer. And then secondly, it's about wordplay, and it's about taking a word with many meanings and then sort of moulding it, changing it, making the vowel slightly different, so then you might be able to hook it onto a different rhyme that otherwise wouldn't have made sense before. It's just that freedom to just craft words and, and own words in a way that other art forms don't let you. It's not as structured when you're growing up. You don't think, oh, I'm freestyle rapping. It's just something you do. It's a way of goofing around. Um, but like a lot of ways we goof around as children, we then, t we then can tap into as adults and make even more of it and create heightened play. I think freestyle rapping is the, um, it's the freedom to speak to a beat because there's so many like paradoxes with uh, freestyle rap because some people tell you that you have to rhyme and then other people say you don't and I think it's just knowing that whatever you say, if there is a beat or not a beat, if you say it rhythmically and with purpose, then you are freestyle rapping. I'll use hip-hop to deeply influence how it is I view freestyle rap and what it means to me. Because it's in the word itself, free and style, right? It's about freedom to express your style and to own it as something that's so fundamental to hip-hop. It's about embracing individuality but not at the expense of community. It's always with the community and Individuals can have their own style whilst feeding into other people's styles because you don't know your style until you come across other people. I was raised by the residual genres of skate culture, so they were very much a community that understood how well punk rock and hip hop go together. Being influenced by these, these genres and being bad at remembering lyrics, I just decided to always wing rhymes on the fly. Um, I would always be quicker than other classmates at creating a coherent rhyme scheme in the poetry we had to create. I didn't really start practicing it as its own art form and craft until I'd finished school actually. Uh, from that point onwards, that's when I felt like I embraced it. My journey of freestyle raps come from Akaprof. I didn't really know it existed before. Obviously I knew written rap was a thing and as I mentioned before, poetry was what you study at school and I always enjoyed the wordplay that came with that. But it wasn't until in 2020 that I got involved with Akaprof that I saw that there was people there who were just inventing words on the fly. Mm. And then from that it sort of snowballed into the, all, all the other realising how many people do freestyle rap and how big a uh, community it has. And it's very much how you were mentioning before, like that accessibility thing. Until you know about it, you don't know it exists and you don't look for it. But as soon as you do, you're then finding it in, in other areas. And we haven't even spoke about like um, freestyle rap battles, which are obviously something more historic that, that rap 
was about just going on stage with someone and, and almost fighting with your words. Mm. So the discovery of how much you can do with freestyle rap has made me want to explore it more. It is accessible for first time freestylers, for advanced freestylers that yeah. want to refine their craft. And because we're putting emphasis on the collaboration and the experimentation and that type of discovery, keeping it organic, there will be something for everyone because there'll be such a diversity of personalities and people from very different backgrounds and that have specialised in different art forms that all have their own style to freely put into the pot. With it being a community-led performance style, it's so much your ability is, is what will be celebrated yes. because you step forward and you have that moment where you do it and, and people are silent apart from when they're hyping you. And then you step back and then someone else with potentially a different experience level will step forward. So that's why it doesn't matter mm. what level you are when you walk in because it's so free. See, I'm proud of everybody today because no matter what you had in front of you, you slay. You just kept on going. You didn't get in your own way. You just took a deep breath in and you didn't feel bereft when you didn't land a single rhyme. It didn't matter. You just focused on the time and conveying subject matter And that's why you were all in your prime And those lines, they were sublime I mean the wit, it was quick and so many quips And it didn't matter how thick it was We just kept going with our own Yeah, I feel really blessed that when we did that scene set in a western And it definitely wasn't a spark to watch the scene set with a hot dog Those two wives that love to vicar they loved, but we really cared quicker because they rocked that scene so well and that's not all to tell because there was another crocodile or alligator does it matter we'll find out later but they set the kids with guns and up a tree to have some fun i think we proved each of us could do some sort of rap without a clue of what we were going to say before we did and i know that's really done well you kids Woo!